So hello, thank you for still listening. We'll try to make this five minutes count. And we are from the Kiev Independent. It's Ukraine's leading English language media outlet. We think of ourselves as the bridge between Ukraine and the world. And I'm Darina, the CEO, and this is Olga, the chief editor. Yes, and uh, if, in case you're wondering why there are two of us on stage, uh, well, it's because we like to do things together. Things like uh, running media, uh, surviving wars, and talking about it. But uh, jokes aside, uh, the synergy between management and editorial is actually a big part behind the success of the Kiev Independent. And, uh, well... Yeah, yeah, yeah well... <laughs> She's going to cover the next one, this one. Yeah, that's how we got here. So uh, this slide actually has a mistake. It took a couple more trains than this. Um, and that's uh, pretty much any traveling now. And for that, we, of course, have to thank uh, Russia, our neighbors, for that and for uh, a lot more grave struggles. We uh, launched Kim Nepal less than two years ago, which means that um, uh, only three months after we launched Russia invaded Ukraine, and we had to learn how to survive and to solve things that we never thought we would think of, like, you know, what do you do if, in case there is a nuclear strike? And building a media company from scratch uh, while struggling with the war has been a very interesting journey, to say the least. And we learned some lessons, some of them hard, and this is our opportunity to tell you about the five wins and five fuck ups. So uh, one thing we did really right was we had a very good story from the beginning because we started the Kiev Independent because we were kicked out of uh, a different newspaper um, in a move to you know end editorial freedoms. So we had this cool story of like a you know a breakthrough uh, media outlet that is fighting for editorial freedom, and then the full scale invasion started, and we were talking about the story a lot, and it was a win for us. Um, and, well, the next one actually is crowdfunding uh, before product. Launching a website and publishing good content is very important, but what's more important is having money to do that in the future. So we decided not to wait until the website goes up and to go for crowdfunding and fundraising for external platforms. Uh, and that helped a lot. And then we knew that being funded by readers is... Um, not just about money, it's also about the connection. And so we made sure that everybody in the team knows that this is the North Star goal. Yes. <laughs> This is fun. Okay, so the <laughs> win four, win four is uh, um, when the uh, full scale invasion started, we didn't have enough resources to cover every story that was happening in the proper way. So we did something that no one else was doing to our knowledge. We uh, started writing very short snippets that led to other websites, and then we started putting them on Twitter, and that caused a huge growth to us. So the win there was adapting our product to our resources. Yes, and uh, this is a very important one, and uh, I would want more than 15 seconds, but we decided that we won't self-censor despite the war. We uh, investigated corruption and misconduct, including in Ukrainian military, and it was a very tough decision to make um, as Ukrainian journals. Yeah, but this is uh, actually a very important fuck-up because we were very afraid to hire outside of the bubble and to ruin the atmosphere of a very tight-knit team. So it actually stalled the growth. We had to fire uh, faster and hire faster. And yeah, that's my favorite. We use this excuse of being a startup for being a hot mess for way too long. We didn't have any registries, any rules, any processes that didn't help. If you want to play with the grown-ups, you have to grow up. Uh, we are very good at launching new things, like newsletters, podcasts, and everything else, but we have not yet killed a single product, which tells me that uh, you know, we are not looking close enough. Dorina only allowed me to put this on the slide if I commit to kill something off. <laughs> That's true. Uh, we're quality freaks and control freaks, and I insist on putting Olga on that slide because it's like, you know, she's the face of that. Uh, but frankly, you know, don't, uh, don't be afraid to make mistakes because that kills initiative. That doesn't help to grow. Um, in the beginning, we got a lot of praise uh, for staying strong and working nonstop, no weekends, committing, and uh, we internalized that, and we thought this is who we are, and the problem was that we couldn't stop even when we should have, and it took a long time for us to in even start taking days off. Well, now we actually have a mental support program, we fund individual therapy, uh, we're even taking our team on a mental support retreat next weekend, so good luck to us. <laughs> And, you know, that's pretty much it. We'll stay here the whole conference. We are happy to talk to you about anything. We wanted to make this useful, but we also are happy to talk about anything concerning Ukraine and Russia's war against Ukraine. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>